at shalom po. Um, I hope everyone is doing fine po sa kanya-kanyang bahay. And um, let us just take this time po to think about the goodness of God sa mga buhay po natin. And um, alahanin po natin na sa middle na po tayo ng taon. Isa po yun sa mga, sa mga bagay na dapat natin ikatingful sa buhay po natin. Yung mapanood po tong live. And andito po tayo, nag-worship kay Lord. And yung safe po yung family natin. And may nakakain po tayo sa araw-araw. Ilan lang po yun sa mga, sa mga bagay na dapat po ikatingful natin. And... yung reason kung bakit po mahalaga na na wag natin pabayaan yung yung relationship natin kay Lord especially ngayon po sa mga nangyayari po sa paligid natin i-continue lang po natin yung walk natin kay Lord kahit mahirap po may mga times man po na naiisip natin na kung naririnig ba tayo ni Lord sa mga prayers natin ang gusto niya lang po sabihin is Anak, andito ako. Naririnig kita. Huwag mong, huwag mong kakalimutan yung mga promises ng Papa mo sa'yo. Lagi mong tatandan at isa sa buhay ito. So, napakahalaga po na naisabuhin natin at lagi natin i-remind yung mga sarili natin ng promises ng Ama natin. And, yun po, um, tandaan po natin na apart from Him, we can do nothing. And let's close our eyes, but let us um, give thanks po sa ating Ama. Lord, thank you for this opportunity and this time to thank you for all the blessings na binigay mo, maliit man o malaki. Lord, thank you so much, Father God, sa mga sa mga biyaya na binigay mo sa pagprotect mo sa family namin and sa paggabay mo sa araw-araw na buhay namin. Thank you so much, Lord, and continue to guide us, continue to mold us to be the person that you want us to be. And thank you so much, Lord, and we pray this in Jesus' mighty name. Shabbat Shalom everyone Sa mga nanonood po at manonood pa Shabbat Shalom sa inyo Amen. Narito kayo in spirit and in truth Kaya kami po ay magagalak Natutuwa na pagpaurihan Pasalamatan ng ating Panginoon Amen Sige. Karapat dapat ang ating Panginoon Na tumanggap ng papuri at pasasalamat Galing sa atin Amen Let's give our best for our God.
So this time po, pwede po, na, pwede po ba nating sabihin sa ating Panginoon na, Lord, thank you for loving me. Isa pa po, Lord, thank you for loving me. For the last time, Lord, thank you for loving me. Hallelujah. If 
we should be called his sons and daughters precious in his sight greater love this world had never seen when he hung on the tree oh why would it do such a thing for dirty sinners like you and humble and kind It's greater than all my sin It always protects
Psalms 34, verse 18. The Lord is near to the brokenhearted and saves the cursed in spirit, the crushed in spirit. Once again, Paul, let's read it, Paul. The Lord is near to those who have a broken heart and saves such as have a contrite spirit.
Sobat salam po. Sige po, let's just allow the Lord to minister to our hearts before we begin with uh, today's message. God, we thank you for this afternoon, Lord. We thank you for gracing us with this opportunity to meet with you, Lord God. You have called this your appointed time, your holy Sabbath, your sacred rest, to have fellowship with mankind. And so, Lord, just ask you did with yours, Lord God. We also cease from our rest, to cease from our works today. Just rest in your presence, Lord. We believe that none of us, Lord God, is going to have communion and fellowship with you, with your mighty presence, whether here in the house of prayer or at home. None of us, Lord God, will end this day empty-handed. All of us will be filled, filled to the brim, and filled to over, overflowing. Lord, fill the empty spaces in our hearts. Fill the empty spaces in our soul, O oh Lord. Fill the empty spaces in our mind. That we may be changed from glory to glory. we continually ask that you're gonna that you would teach us to love you more and love others more for that for by that people we know that we truly are your disciples Lord minister to each one of us Lord you're not bound by time you're not bound by space. You're not bound by distance. You are so willing and available to meet all of us right where we are today. And so our all-powerful, our ever-present, our all-knowing God, we welcome you into our hearts, we welcome you into our minds, and may sitting at your feet this afternoon be an act of worship before you. May this gesture of listening to your word be an act of worship before you, O Lord. Give you back all the glory, the honor, and the praises in Jesus' name. Hapon po. Shabbat shalom. Yan. Ano lang po, aalog-alog tayo dito sa HOP. <laughs> Pero, ang laki-laki ng presensya ng Panginoon. Amen po ba? Praise God. So, send ko lang po yung handout.
can now distribute our handouts. Okay, ang pag-uusapan po natin ngayong hapon ay ang continuation ng ating sermon series na Becoming a House of Prayer. And uh, this afternoon, we will be talking about redeeming the time. Okay? Um, hindi ito yung na-prepare ko na sermon for this uh, for, for, for today. Uh, I prepared something else, but last minute, um, the Lord prompted me to change it. Because... We believe na ang fresh manna ng Panginoon hindi pwedeng i-manufacture. Amen? Ang fresh manna ng Panginoon, dinideliver siya ayon sa kagustuhan niya at ayon sa paraan. na Ayon sa laman ng puso niya at ayon sa paraan na gusto niya. Amen? Alright. So, we'll be talking about becoming a house of prayer, redeeming the time. Let's read Ephesians 5:15 to 16. See then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time, because the days are evil. Colossians 4.5 Walk in wisdom toward those who are outside, redeeming the time. Um, how many of you here have been experiencing na parang ambilis ng oras? Na parang hinahabol tayo ng oras o tayo yung naghahabol ng oras? How many of you sometimes feel a certain level or a certain oh, tama, level or level of loss within a day na parang feeling mo may, nawalan ka sa isang araw. Dahil hindi mo to nagawa, hindi mo na-accomplish, nararamdaman niya yan. Today is the day of our salvation. Yes! Amen! Thank you, Lord! Kanina po, grabe, grabe. From, from the first song until the last song, the Lord was like, Repeating to me this preaching. Parang siya, we know one on one niya ako. Ito, ito, ito yung sinasabi ko. Kasi, if you would notice mamaya, if you really paid attention to the lyrics of the songs, you would find it here in the handout. Like the essence, the thought of it. Parang, parang nililecturan ako ni Lord kanina. Sinasabihan niya ako, Anak, today is the day of your salvation. Tapos na ang laban nyo ng oras. Amen. Praise the Lord. Okay, let's, um, we're, we're, the focus, uh, the, The focus of the text that we we have right now, I, I want to focus on redeeming and time. First, let's see what redeeming means. It comes from the Greek word exagorazo, if tama ang pronunci- pronunciation. It means to buy, to purchase, to purchase from the marketplace. Padagdag na lang. To purchase from the marketplace. Hindi to purchase the marketplace. Ako lang ako na preposition. To purchase from the marketplace. In ancient times, it often referred to the act of buying a slave. It carried the meaning of freeing someone from chains, prison, or slavery. Praise God. You know, and, and just, by, just by looking at these two verses, and yung, yung meaning pa lang in Greek, solved na, di ba? Ibig sabihin ko, may redeeming the time, may redemption of time, may pag-asa tayong lumaya dito sa bondage na pinadadaan natin ngayon. Amen? Praise God. Time. It comes from the word kairos. You know, we've already discussed this before that there are different kinds of time. There's chronos, kairos, and pleru time. Kairos means a season, opportune time, not nearly as a succession of minutes. It's not the chronos. That, that's not what we see in our clock. It, these are times at which certain foreordained, say foreordained, foreordained. events take place. It means fit time. Proper season, generally equivalent to an opportunity or an occasion. So, I want to give you time to put, your, to put yourself in context using these definitions. And, um, napag-aralan nga natin before in my sermon na life-defining moments, napag-aralan natin yung chronos, kairos, and plero, pleru or pleroma, but we are going to go deeper into that. Amen? Are you ready? All right. So let's start. Let's begin with a prophetic word that we received from the Lord last May 28 at Journey Studies. Sabi ni Prophet Sadu, ay hindi ko pala nailagay diyan. Pakilagay din diyan sa baba. This is a prophetic word released by Reverend Sadu Sundar Selvaraj. So paki pakisulat na lang po. Meron although meron naman akong source doon sa references, but it's good that you put that there. 
This, is, this was said by Reverend Sadhu Sundar Selvaraj last May 28. Sabi ni, ni Prophet Sadhu, The judgment of God is coming to the church for His people to give account for the abuse of time by serving man and yourself. This is the year of accountability. There will be a 50-day period of grace which starts May 28. It is a time of reckoning or a time of reckoning will come. Say reckoning. Paki-underline po yung reckoning. Tell them I will judge their works. Tell them to put away all the, li the leaven. The seraphim will come to the pastor and the church for sanctification with burning and judgment. Um, let's turn our attention doon sa abuse of time. Sabi ng prophet, how do we abuse our time? We abuse our time by serving man and serving ourselves. Right? Take note of that. You can encircle that. And sabi dyan, a time of reckoning will come. And specific, specifically, sabi niya, the, 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 the seraphim, the angel the, with the spirit of burning and the spirit of judgment will come upon the pastor and the church. So if you've noticed, I was silent since last week. Uh, the, the announcement about GCQ came, but then I did not give an immediate announcement because I was really seeking the Lord how, how we should carry out our services for this, week, for this weekend. And finally, uh, I got a clear instruction from the Lord the other day. So, ponder on this, beloved. All those, of, all those of you who are watching, all of you who are watching, please um, take note of this word from, from the Lord. Now, if the Lord, if time is very important to the Lord and He is coming to us at this time for us to take account of our time, do you think time... Is of value to him? Yes. yes. Now, if time is important to the Lord, then should time be important to us as well? Of course, yes. Because we are in a relationship with the Lord, and it warrants that what is important to him should be of prime importance to us. Amen? So let's talk about time. Let's talk about the characteristics and purpose of time. Psalm 91, 16. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. I want you to take it from there. First premise, time, space, and matter are in perfect continuum. Okay, apply natin ng science. In perfect continuum means na they go together. Okay? Hindi nag exist yung isa na wala yung iba. They are in perfect continuum. Okay, one example of this is another an, another example of some another example of um, something that is in perfect continuum is the relationship of the Trinity. One cannot exist with the other, and one doesn't move with the other. So same with wag nyo relate yung time, space, and matter sa Trinity ha, yung continuum lang, dun lang. Okay, time, space, and matter are in perfect continuum. So, ibig sabihin, kapag may space, may condition, may circumstance, may time element and matter element yon. In the same manner na kapag may matter, may space element yon at may time element yon. Amen? O science, what is matter? Matter is anything that occupies space and has... Yes, birth device dito Emmy. Praise God. Okay. Now... Clear ha, yan ang ano natin, yan ang, yan ang premise natin. The three go together, okay? Now, God created time for the purpose of works of redemption. So time is redemptive. Time is for the redemptive purpose of God. Amen? And then another, and another thing we should remember about time is that time is a gift from God. Amen? Within... The time He gives us is the package of purpose and opportunity through relationship. I'm going I'm to explain that later. Basta, tandaan nyo lang, time is attached to relationship. Okay? Keep that in your heart. Time is attached to relationship. 
It is where God can carry out His redemptive purpose and plan for ma- mankind to redeem us and move us from history to destiny. Okay? Because you have time, you have a great opportunity to grow with Him and in Him. Okay? So, ganito siya. Remember, in eternity, when God created Adam and Eve, they were already created as grown-ups. Correct? Pero don't you think, or don't you see the loving kindness, the mercy, and the grace of God that during our time, after the fall, He gave us the opportunity to grow from one stage to another? From a baby to what we are now, pinakita ng Panginoon sa atin kung paano niya tayo inalagaan, kung paano niya tayo inasikaso. Because time is supposed to accomplish the redemptive, or it is an environment where God's redemptive purposes are accomplished. Don't, aren't you glad that God gave us time para may, tayo, may, may chance tayo na piliin siya? Tandaan nyo, in eternity, nung nag-misbehave si Lucifer, everything in heaven. Kaya nga, beloved, ano na natin? Let's, let's believe in the purpose of God. Nabuo ko na nga dito sa earth. I wanna, step in, I wanna step into eternity because in eternity, everything is alright, everything is okay. Yes, that's true. But that is not the purpose of God for you. Because everything in heaven adores God. Everything in heaven obeys God. And anything that does not obey God is taken out of heaven. So be thankful to the Lord that you are in this earth. That you have a chance to choose Him. Remember, Lucifer was there. And because he was prideful, he was taken out of the presence of the Lord. But because God loves you and me. He put, that, he put us on this earth to take care of us, to mature us so that we can love Him the way heaven loves Him. And then when we are there, truly we can love Him with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength. Not because we were forced to, but because we want to. And we are living the purpose that we were created for. Amen? So aren't you glad that you're here? Aren't you glad that you're experiencing this pandemic? Aren't you glad that you, you grew from somebody who is no known until now you're pretty and you're handsome? Aren't you glad? You should be glad. Because God said, with long life, I will satisfy you and show you my salvation. Amen? Keep this in your heart, beloved. God will satisfy you. Sabihan niyo yung katabi niyo, dyan sa bahay. God, and dito sa HOP, God will satisfy you. With long life, He will satisfy you and show you your salvation. Hindi pwedeng kulang-kulang. Dapat satisfied. Amen? Kasama na yung good and bad. Kasi lahat ng bad nagiging good sa Panginoon. Because Romans 8.28, He makes all things work together for the good of those who love Him. And, called, and are called according to His purpose. Amen? Alright. So settled? Settled about time? Okay, let's move on. Now, let's Find out what God can do with time. Okay? Let's read together with all our hearts. John chapter 1, verse 1 to 3. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through Him, and without Him, nothing was made that was made. Now, keep this in your mind. Time is a created thing. Amen? Time was created by God and actually serves God's very specific purposes. Okay, underline that sentence please. Again, time was created by God and actually serves God's very specific purposes. And now, having this in mind, put this, put this premise in your mind. Time, God is not subject to time. In fact, He is the beginning and the end. He's the Alpha and the Omega. Amen? So if God was created for specific purpose, 
for, for if time was created for God's specific purposes and time and and God's purpose for you is to be loved by him then why does time harm you at this time why is time why does time cause fear to us at this time why does time cause anxiety to us and because there are different purposes of God he has created different kinds of time to fulfill those purposes. And time is one of the most amazing features of all God's creation. Just like the rest of God's creation, Jesus Christ rules and reigns over all of it. He is not subject to it. So keep this in your mind. Write, write this on top of the, of the table, beloved. Ha? Itong tabular presentation. Isulat nyo na dyan. Jesus Christ rules and reigns over time. Jesus Christ rules and reigns over time. So, ibig sabihin, if Jesus, if Jesus reigns over time, dapat hindi tayo stress sa time. Hindi tayo dapat stress sa deadline. Hindi ibig sabihin, hindi tayo dapat nag-comply sa deadline. Oo, dapat mag-comply, mag-comply tayo sa deadlines natin sa work, sa school, sa modules. Oo, dapat. Pero hindi tayo dapat stress. Kasi yung Diyos na sinasamba natin, siya ang may control ng time. Yung Diyos na, na the, the God who is the reason why we are all here controls time. And He is not subject to time. Time is subject to Him. Amen? And yung time na yan, dapat ma-accomplish niya yung purpose na in or, and dyan sa time na yan, dapat ma-accomplish Jaan yung purpose ng Panginoon para sa atin. Hindi tayo dapat ang lugi sa time. It is just an environment where God could accomplish His purposes for us. Amen? Now, here are some, here's what God can do with time. Number one, He created time. John 1, 1 to 3. Put that there po sa katabi ng John 1, 1 to 3. God is not subject to time. Okay? Number two, He can order time. You can find that in 1 Corinthians 14, 33. He can order time. Number three, He can stop time. This is a very popular verse, John 10, 13. Diba si Joshua? When time stood still. Number four, He can accelerate time. Amos 9.13 Number 5 He can change time Isaiah 38.8 Number 6 He can change space and distance because it is in continuum with time Acts 39.40 is, uh, I mentioned this during my sermon on waiting on God when, the, when Philip disappeared and appeared in another place that's, that's distance, that's space, right? But it happened with time Correct? So he can change that as well because he is in control of time. He is in control of space. He is in control of distance. Now, space, well, your circumstance, your condition, conditions are not tangible, right? Parang mga constructs and concepts yan. Like yung, yung, yung problema sa bahay. Wala namang konkretong makita pero alam mo. Diba? That's space. Right? Sickness, that's matter. Kasi konkreto. Limbawa, tumor. That's, that, that, has, that has mass and it occupies space. Right? The reason it can disappear in the presence of God because matter is subject, is subject to God. Amen? Now, in the same manner, your circumstance na hindi mo mas, masolusyonan, God, that is subject to God. That is space. He is in control of that. He has control over that. And your time. He can change matter and time and space just like when Jesus turned water into wine and healed people of leprosy. He can even step in and out of time anywhere He chooses. 
He can step into your past and future even though He is with you right now because space and time are in continuum. Remember the movie The Love Shack? The one that we watched during Shavuot? Diba? Si Mac, the Lord led him to the love shack para madil yung mga past hurts niya. Diba? Through the fellowship of the entire Trinity. Diba? Ang cute. <laughs> If you haven't watched that yet, okay, please watch the love shack. It's available on YouTube. Tama ba? Okay. The shack. Now, let's learn about the different kinds of time. Let's read Ecclesiastes 3.1. To everything, there is a season, a time for every purpose under heaven. Now, let's talk about our view of time. Ang alam natin about time, simple lang. Our past, our present, and our future. Recap, syempre, our past is the time gone by and no longer exists. Take note from our, expect- from our perspective, underline that. Time gone by and no longer existing from our pers- perspective. Pero from God's perspective, kita niya pa yan. Or something occurring before and leading up to the time of right now. Number two, present time. It's the right now time. And lastly, future time, a later time. Okay, let's talk about this. Bakit? The, why is the past time gone by and no longer existing from our perspective? And in the same manner, idagdag nyo dyan, our future time is a later time na, na hindi pa nag-exist from our perspective. From our perspective lang. Pero si Lord, sabi niya baga, He sees the end from the beginning. Right? And alam niya na din ang simula at ang katapusan ng lahat. So to illustrate, sabi ni Tom Brewer, ni Troy Brewer, ang, perspe- ang tingin daw ng Lord sa, isa- sa time, di ba, bu- uh, di ba, bullet train. Di ba, ang bullet train, hindi mo makita kung saan ang end, saan ang beginning niya. Di ba, kahit nasa top view ka, kasi mahaba siya. Pero si Lord, nakikita niya yon, and then yung train na umaandar, everything is now. Everything is now. Yung dark ages, yung time ni, Abra- ni Adam, ni Abraham, tapos yung time ng rapture, tapos yung time ng ano, nakikita niya yon all at the same time. In His now. That's how powerful God is. Kaya niya iproseso yan lahat. All at the same time. Pero tayo, segmented. Ang nakikita lang natin, past, present, saka yung future. I mean, yun lang yung may ability tayo to see in the natural. Past, present, future. Diba? Okay, let's talk about another kind of time. Let's see time from redemption's perspective. Okay. Now, let me introduce to you two kinds of time. One is unredeemed time. Say unredeemed time. And the other one is redeemed time. Okay, let's talk about unredeemed time. The foundation of this is 1 John 2.17. Let's all read. And the world is passing away and the last of it, but he who does the will of God abides forever. Okay, put that on the shelf. Doon muna tayo sa mga bullets. Let's talk about unredeemed time. Unredeemed time is a flow of relative time when everything is being lost and passing away. Everything is leading to death. Destruction. When redemption is not at work and the blood of the Lamb is absent, time is a robber and a destroyer. Time is death and a prison. Kaya makikita niyo sa mga scriptures na those who practice sexual immorality, etc., 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 cannot inherit the kingdom of God. So there's an end that you see, which is eternal death, Right? So everything in the corrupted state is leading to loss and passing away. Okay? Disorder, uncertainty, and degradation show up and make sure that humans have no strength or ability to exercise authority. Ito yung paulit-ulit yung nangyaring hindi maganda sa pamilya mo para wala kang, para wala kang magawa. Nagsimula ka 2000, pabagsak na yung buhay mo. 2021 na ganun pa din. Mas lalong bumabagsak. Yun yung unredeemed time. Ibig sabihin, 
we are living in unredeemed time. In unredeemed time, the focus is on what is being lost and what is passing away. Everything caught up in the flow of unredeemed time is forced to fade and pass away. This is what happens when nature rules and reigns and when the Creator does not. Yung may bagyo, tapos naapektuhan ng bagyo, tapos hindi mo alam, ano na, saan na, na pupulutin, hindi na nakarecover. Tapos pag may, bagyo na, pag may, may bagyo na parating, takot ka na. Because there, in that kind of time, God does not reign. Nature reigns and you have no control over things. Now let's talk about redeemed time. Here you see, we talked about death and unredeemed time, but here, Philippians 1.21 in redeemed time says, Sabi ni Apostle Paul, For to me, to live is Christ and to die is gain. Now here you see, death is already blissful. Death now is something to look forward to because there is gain. Now, redeemed time is a flow of relative time where everything is coming and being gained. This is the time when you expect harvest, when you, expe when you expect blessings. When the blood of the Lamb is present, the rules are completely different for that specific time frame. When the blood of the Lamb is applied in a, over a specific time frame, nag-iiba yung takbo ng buhay natin. In redeemed time, the person in that time, the person in, the, in that time flow, time flow is gaining life instead of losing life. Time serves God. Remember this. Encircle that. In redeemed, within redeemed time, the realm of redeemed time, time serves God. In bringing and giving instead of passing and taking away. In redeemed time, dito nag-apply yung God shall supply all my needs according to His riches and glory. God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that you could ever ask or imagine. That is only applicable to redeemed time. Now, what insights can we get from here? If time is subject to God, we, the redeemed, can see and enjoy time through Him and His awesome glory. Next slide na po tayo. Ulitin ko. If time is subject to God, we, the redeemed, can see and what? Enjoy. Enjoy time through Him and His awesome glory. So everybody, in circle, enjoy time. Ito na yung I am the vine and you are the branches. Apart from me, you can do nothing. You can only enjoy time through Him and when you abide in Him. Amen? Another insight. You can change your time from robbing you into adding life to you. Hindi pwedeng ganun na lang na palagi tayo na pagnanakawa ng oras ang pakiramdam natin. Pwede ito magbago. Amen? This is the way God designed time. He designed it for you to walk in it in a way that is relative to your heart and your relationship with Him. Remember this. Time was, the purpose of time is for us to develop our relationship with the Lord. Okay? So, it is supposed to be serving the purpose of God in our life. Kaya lang, anything that we do, ito yung premise ha, anything we do that does not contribute to our relationship with, our, with the Lord robs us of our time. Yun na yun. Kasi ang purpose lang naman talaga ng time para tayo magkaroon ng connection sa Panginoon. Magkaroon ng malalim na relasyon sa kanya. So pag nag pag nag ano tayo, pag nag operate tayo sa labas na sa labas noon, lugi talaga tayo. Kasi bina-violate natin yung divine order ng Panginoon and yung divine purpose niya. Okay? Now what is the call to action? We have to learn to partner with God 
So redeemed time can overtake our past, present, and future time. Diba sinabi natin, how many, how many of you believe that our past affects our present? Ando na tayo sa, oo, niredeem ng Panginoon, washed by the blood, we are a new creation. Pero, once in a while, bumabalik tayo dun sa mga experiences na yun, right? Hindi na siya sa context ng pain and hurt, sa context na siya ng wasted time. Yun yung pakiramdam natin, nang hinayang tayo, ba? Diba? But remember this, God is not subject to time. Kung naborn again tayo, ngayon pa lang, that's all right. Jesus can step into our past. Because Jesus is a time traveler. He can step into our future to secure our future even before we get there. Kaya nga, inassure niya na tayo na Jeremiah 29.11 For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. But then, sabi ng succeeding verses, You will come to me and you will pray to me. You will, and I will answer you. You will seek me and you will find me when you seek me with all your heart. So between your future and where you are now is a time of seeking and a time of cultivating your relationship with the Lord. Amen. It is not a time of ministry actually. It is not a time of functioning per se. It's a time of going deep into the heart of God and God deep into your heart. Amen? And so, yun po. Singit ko lang. Sige nga, Kuya Sean Chris, hiramin ko lang po yung whiteboard. Para lang, um, sige. I, I, I wanna, I'm going to teach you a prophetic gesture that the Lord taught me the other night during my waiting time. Um, yun nga, since some past events or past time is affecting our present now, uh, our present, we can invite the Lord. <laughs> Yan ang true love. Tisin mo <laughs> We can invite the Lord into our timeline. Okay, halimbawa, Kuya Sean Chris, tulungan mo pa po ako. Please, huminta. <laughs> Draw ka po ng isang straight line. Straight line. Dito lang. Apo. Ayan. Okay. Halimbawa, ka na po kuya. Halimbawa, ayan, for example, timeline. Okay. Ito ngayon yung age mo ngayon, tapos ito yung age mo no. Before. Age mo before, hindi. Before you were, when, when you were, Ah, but zero age, basta ganon. Okay. May mga nangyari from here, before you get here, na, well, hindi mo, hindi pa na-acknowledge yung presence ni Jesus. Correct? Pwede hindi ka born, hindi ka pa born again, or born again ka na, pero hindi mo pa in-invite si Lord sa, unred, sa, sa place na yon sa buhay mo. Remember, time is an environment where God can accomplish His here where God can accomplish His plans for you. So, may mga areas ng buhay natin within a time frame na hindi natin na ibigay sa Panginoon, whether believer na tayo or hindi pa. So, alimbawa, yun nga uh, the song "What Do You Say" spoke to my heart so so strongly. How many of you ask this question, Lord, where were you? Or what, what were you say? Or what can you say? And where were you during the time that I was abused? During the time that my marriage was broken? During the time that um, I had a miscarriage? During the time that I failed my subjects? During the time that I was beaten by my father? During the time that I, that, that, that I lost My business. Where were you during that time? And what can you say about that time? How many of you are thinking? Uh, so magina ba yun sa isip nyo? Siempre, di ba? Where were you when my father was ailing? And what do you say during the time that he was suffering? Di ba? But the truth is, he was there all along. 
He wasn't, it's just that he wasn't allowed to touch that place in your life. He wasn't allowed by you to function as your redeemer. Now, I want you to mark those timelines or those specific moments in your life. Mark, for example, in this time, there's abuse, and then you write the year, the year, loss of business. Okay. Then you write the year, for example, December 2, the date, 2007. Kaya ito, February 14, <laughs> uh, 1995. O, oh, ganyan. That's the idea. Okay? And I want you to do a prophetic gesture. You apply the blood over that. Okay? Say, apply the blood of Jesus. Lord, I ask you to redeem this time frame. Kaya siya tinawag na frame. Kasi from one point to another. Frame. Diba? Now, Everything that's holding you back, you ask the Lord during your private time, okay? And you do this, and you apply the blood over that. And you see, you'll see that your present is going to change. You can ask, Lord, where were you when my parents abandoned me? Where were you when my mom almost aborted me from her womb? Lahat yan dyan. Sulat nyo. And ask the Redeemer, who is a time traveler to step into that time frame. And you can be assured that your present and your future is going to change. Amen? Praise God. Okay. Kasi, ito yung time, ito yung unredeemed places and unredeemed spaces ng buhay natin. Punta naman tayo ngayon from the time at na naging believer tayo. Start tayo as new creation, right? He who is in Christ is a new creation. The old is gone and the new has come. Pero before we get here sa Jeremiah 29.11, may proseso din. Before yung magandang future, correct? Okay, ito. Now, as we, beloved, patulong naman, no? ano nga yung forgetting what lies behind and pressing on toward the goal? Philippians? Ito na. Saan si beloved? Pahelp nga, pag-google. Thank you. Philippians 3, 13 to 14. So this is how we're going to progress from here to here. Forgetting what lies behind and pressing on towards the goal of our high calling in Christ Jesus. Amen? And then here, as we progress, pa help po ulit, beloved Hannah, yung punishing disobedience so that our dis through our obedience. Ano lang to eh, mga ondas, kanina lang to. Second Corinthians. Okay, let's put that on the screen, please. Ten six. Okay.
Okay. Uh, let's start with five. Okay. Diba, along the way, as we move forward, may mga papasok dyan sa isip natin, oh, hindi ka enough, hindi ka makakapunta dun sa pinupuntahan mo. Sa, sa dapat pupuntahan, diba, ganyan. Anong sabi dyan? Casting down arguments and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ. So lahat ng... Mga areas ng buhay natin na pwede tayong maging disobedience, ikakast down natin lahat ng argument na yan, di ba? For us to progress, to go where we're supposed to be. Then sige po, next. Six. And being ready to punish all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. Now, how do we punish disobedience? When we obey. When we obey the will of God every step of the way. Amen? So yan. And jaan na magwo-work yung Romans 8:28, 'di ba? To 29. Every time, every time na well along the way may mga roadblocks 'yan. Amen. Along the way may mga roadblocks 'yan. Pero ang sabi ni Romans 8:28, all things work together for the good of those who love him, those who are called according to his purpose. So yung victory mo dito sa bagong timeline na ito nakadepend Within the or or mag take effect within the bounds of his will and purpose and your relationship with him, because it only works for the good of those who love him and are called according to his purpose. Amen. Hindi yung sa hindi yung basis sa kung anong alam natin about Christianity. Hindi. It's about his will, his purpose, and our relationship with him. Amen. And ano nga yung twenty nine? Yung shinare sa atin last week, Romans 8.29. Ano yung ina-accomplish niya? What, 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 what happens, what is it that happens for our good? For whom He foreknew, He also predestined to be conformed to the image of His Son, that He might be the firstborn among many brethren. From the time that we became a new creation... To, the, to the, the wonderful future that God has ordained for us, the purpose, or we were predestined to be, or to be, yeah, to conform or to be conformed in the image of Christ Jesus. Amen? So kung kasama yung pandemic dito, pwede, but God is going to turn it for our good. And what is the good that He is accomplishing? Christ-likeness. So sa kalagitnaan ng pandemic na to, kung nagrereklamo tayo, hindi Christ likeness 'yon. Kung sa kalagitnaan ng ng summer heat, nagrereklamo tayo, hindi Christ likeness 'yon. Taliwas 'yon sa purpose ng Panginoon. Amen. Tandaan natin, itong buong journey na to, ang ano, ang purpose is Christ likeness, to be conformed in the image of the Son. Amen. Okay po. Yan ang redeemed time. Okay, let's proceed. Timelines and time circles. It's another dimension or another new thing we learn about time. Sige po. Talking about timelines and time circles, meron po tayong linear, which we call times, and meron po tayong cyclical, which we call seasons. Okay. So, ano, previously, um, karamihan sa, kahit ako, karamihan ang focus ko sa season. Pero ngayon, mas naintindihan, pinaintindi na sa atin, pinapa, pinapaintindi sa atin ng Lord yung tungkol sa times. Okay. Scriptural foundation ng times is Isaiah 43.19. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth, shall you know it. I will even make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Okay, let's break down the elements. You can see there, new thing. Okay, the new thing there speaks of a condition. So that is space. Amen? I will make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. That's something tangible and therefore that is matter. Amen? So if there is space and there is matter, it involves time. Praise God. Now, times are crucial prophetic moments that bring definition to things. They are epic moments 
and events that stop old things and begin new things. All right, encircle stop old things and encircle begin new things. When you enter into a new time, you enter into a new era. For example, a new wine or a move of God requiring a new wine skin, which are our priorities and culture. Okay, ano ibig sabihin nun? Ang ibig sabihin nun, our actions have to be conformed to what God is doing. Sige nga, let's all confess that. Our actions have to be conformed to what God is doing, so times are to be coordinated with actions. Kung hanggang ngayon, hindi pa tayo nakaka-adjust sa, sa live streaming tsaka sa face-to-face na minsan pwede, minsan hindi, ibig sabihin, hindi pa tayo nagko-conform dun sa kung ano ginagawa ng Panginoon. Kung hanggang ngayon, naiinis pa rin tayo kapag napuputol yung live stream, ibig sabihin, hindi pa nagko-conform yung character natin doon sa time. Amen? Kung umiikli pa yung pasensya natin sa mga maliliit na bagay, ibig sabihin, hindi pa nagko-conform yung character natin sa purpose ng Panginoon. Amen? With a new time comes a cut off from the last time. Because times are non-scheduled events defined by something epic. Epic is something spectacular. It's something that God is a... It's something great that we cannot do. Only God can do. Right? Now, take for example. Yun nga, kaya nagpander ako. Kasi right after sinabi ni Prophet Sadu that God is going to... Remember, ju- this is not a judgment to be scared of. Amen? Let's settle that. Because judgment begins in the house of God. Everybody say, judgment begins in the house of God. But God's judgment before the great white throne judgment in the, in the, in the, in the last or, 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 or in, the, in the future, everything, all the judgments of God are redemptive. Amen? Now, and mercy prevails or triumphs over judgment. Dito sa dispensation natin. Amen? Not until the final judgment. Ha, ngayon, kapag judge tayo ng Panginoon, redemptive yon. Amen? Now, when, when prophets had to release that word, and then nag-GCQ agad, a few days after, sabi ko, ah, okay. Nag-cut off na naman si Lord. Kaya, Yun nga, masanay na tayo sa ganito. Let's, let's move with the times and the seasons of God. And let's quiet our hearts when God does these things. Of course, it's not God's will na magkasakit ang mga tao. But again, He accomplishes something out of all this. Amen? Kaya tayo, tayong mga believers, kagaya nung sinabi ko nung ano, nung... Shavuot, ng family equipping natin, kahit, pang, kahit ano pang mangyari, lahat tayo may patutunguhan. Amen? Kasi ang purpose ng Panginoon sa atin, to be conformed to the image of the sun. Whether malamig, whether mainit, may pandemic o wala, pwede ka conform to the image of the sun. Basta mag-yield ka. In whatever, in whatever condition, maka-accomplish ng Panginoon yung purpose na yan. Amen? Now, let's talk about seasons. Seasons are cyclical. Everybody say cyclical. Psalm 19.6. It's, it's, rising, it, it's rising is from one end of heaven and it's circuit to the other end and there is nothing hidden from its heat. Now, cyclical timelines in the Bible are actually called seasons and they are always prophetic. It's a cycle and it is supposed to be predictable. Everybody say predictable. Predictable in the sense na it doesn't happen on an exact time that you know, but you know it's coming. Right? For example, the Feast of the Lord. We don't know the exact time of the Rosh Hashanah next year, the Feast of Tabernacles, the Passover. We don't know, but we know it's coming. Right? When prophets move in the Bible, they move in circles. Kaya makikita nyo po, pag malalapit na yung mga feasts, mag-observe mga prophets natin, minsan tahimik. <laughs> because that's the way it works, right? Or, 
You see us preparing to do some prophetic gestures because this is how God communicates to His people. Now, for example, si Samuel, this is 1 Samuel 7, 15 to 17. And Samuel judged Israel all the days of his life. He went from year to year on a circuit to Bethel, Gilgal, and Mizpah, and judged Israel in all those places. But he always returned to Ramah, for his home was there. Then he judged Israel, and there he built an altar to the Lord. So how did Samuel move? He moved in circuits. Okay? Also, Jesus was in alignment for his prophetic assignment by acting in circular patterns and how he physically carried out his prophetic ministry. For example, Mark 6.6, 6, the Holman Christian Standard Bible says, And he was amazed at their unbelief. Now he was going around the villages in a circuit teaching. Even yung, yung, ano, yung pag-teach ni Jesus, may pinafollow siyang cycle. May pinafollow siyang circuit. Doon sa NKJV, NKJV, ang nakalagay yata dyan is roundabout instead of circuit. Now, seasons speak of prophetic appointments like the Feast of the Lord, like the Shabbat. Prophetic appointments have to do with where you meet God and what the theme of your meeting is all about. It's why there are certain feasts in certain seasons that are celebrated with kingdom themes. For example, 2021, pagpasok ng 5781, then nag-go inside. It's the, de- the year of the mouth, the decade of the, of the mouth, and it is the year of sanctification. May theme. May, may nire-release na prophetic theme ang Panginoon sa, sa body of Christ para makapaghanda tayo. Amen? Every time you meet God in that certain place, at that certain time, he offers a new layer of revelation on the subject. Underline, a new layer of revelation on the subject. Now, I get this a lot from my family. Because you know that the Lord has um, commissioned us and mandated us to celebrate and restore the feast of the Lord, right? Restore the celebration of the feast of the Lord. Now, let's face it, year after year, hindi naman natin nag- naiintindihan pa siya. Nang sobra, di ba? Oo, meron tayong idea, pero hindi natin nag-grasp yung full, yung full message. Kasi ganun talaga, hindi mo talaga siya mag-grasp. Kasi ang sabi dito, as you observe it, as you celebrate it, doon palang lalalim yung revelation mo. Nung nagsimula pa lang ako nito to, to introduce the feast to the family, my family would always say na, my biological family would always say na, e, explain mo naman ngaya, araman ngaya ninda kung ano iyan, e, explain mo ngaya. Sabi ko, mami, no amount of explanation will make them understand. Because it's an appointed time, it's the Lord who's going to explain to all of us. Amen? Kasi each time we go through it, another layer of revelation is added to us. Amen? Now, And w- once we receive the revelation, we align our confessions, our proclamations, and our declarations that go with the prophetic season for our life. This is what we call alignment for assignment. Diba? And seasons, because they are predictable, they are anticipated. It is something that we look forward to. Amen? So, hindi pwede nag-winter. Tapos, ang damit mong na-prepare, pang summer. ba? Hindi pwede. Kasi pag sinabing decade of the mouth, pagpasok ng Rosh Hashanah, hindi ka pwede magsasabi ng kung ano-ano. ba? Pag sinabing season or year of preparation, year of sanctification, hindi, dapat, hindi pwede hindi tayo careful sa actions natin. Amen? Hindi pwedeng hindi guarded yung walk natin sa Lord. Because He said, it's a season of preparation. It's a year of sanctification. It's a year of accountability. Amen? Again, hindi pwede na pag summer, naka-jacket ka. Paghahandaan mo yun siyempre. Correct? Mag-iipon ka ng supplies mo for summer. Mag-iipon ka ng revelation para dyan sa season na yan. Para you know how to conduct yourself. Amen? 
Okay. Now, let's summarize. Both epic linear time and circular seasonal time are classified in the one term called times and seasons. So, okay, let's resist the tendency na pag may nakita tayong time or season sa Bible, dichotomize natin, ano to time? Linear? Ano to season? Cyclical? Okay, hindi yun yung purpose. Okay, gugulohan lang tayo. Ang importante, alam natin kung paano kumilos ang Panginoon para wala tayong nasasayang na oras. Amen? Now, however, even if they, they, they are classified in the one term, times and seasons, throughout the Bible, they speak of different prophetic time frames and postures. Doon sila nagkakaiba. Time frames and postures. Now, what insights can we get? Number one, let's read all together. God changes times and seasons. Daniel 2.21, He changes the times and the seasons. He removes kings and raises up kings. Number two, God shows you different sides of Him and how to love and serve Him in different times and seasons. Our character is very important in dealing with times because they are often... I wait lang. Before that, before that. Balik muna tayo dun sa ano. Sa... Ay, okay lang. Sige, proceed. Number three. Ano ang important in dealing with time? Our character is very important in dealing with times because they are often unpredictable. So we have to adapt and change. What? Okay, in circle quickly in this kind of time. Pag GCQ, GCQ. Pag MACQ, MACQ. Cut off, time's up. Kapag pwede mag-gather, gather. gather. Na magdo, wag na magdalawang isi. Pag pwede, pwede. Pag hindi, hindi. Adjust quickly. Amen? Seasons are scheduled. So, ano naman? Discipline is very important for our victory from season to season. Bakit discipline? Yun nga sinabi ko. Kapag alam mo, na ano, na papunta na sa summer, syempre hindi na tayo dapat nagkakakain. Kasi pag tumaba ka pag summer, iinitan ka ng grabe. Di ba? Alright? Ay nako. Di ba? Ganun. So, you prepare. There's discipline. There's, there's discipline. There's a discipline that we need so that we could go from one season to another. Now, ito naman. Times are connected to the heart of God. In times, we are called members of the body of Christ. Okay? Of course, yes, we are. But I want you to see how this relates to being fitted together. Okay? Dito muna tayo. As a body of Christ, we, we are more, as the body of Christ, we are more spontaneous, fluid, relational, and everything is temporary. Ito na yung, we are different people, different functions, Um, with different parts to play. And then here we are passionate and have great sense of urgency in doing our job before the fullness of time or before the cut-off. Times have to do with shifts of emphasis and our willingness to conform quickly from time to time. Yan yung, ah, ito yung pinabagawa sa akin ng Panginoon. Tapos, within the family, may isa naman, ah, ito yung ginagawa ng Panginoon, pinabagawa sa ng Panginoon. It's time to do this, it's time to do that. Now, how is it differentiated from season? Seasons are connected to the ways or works of God. In seasons, we can be pictured as the temple of God, jointly fit together in rock-solid ways. Kaya remember, ang feast of the Lord, ang command ng Panginoon, dapat may secret assembly, may holy convocation. Dapat yung mga Yung ano, yung mga anak niya, iisa ang heartbeat. Amen? Kahit iba-iba ang ginagawa, there are different times within a season. You get it now? There are different times within a season. Pero, iba-iba man yung ginagawa natin, nasa, nasa ano tayo, na, within the walls or the frame of God's season. Amen? Because we are fitted together as the temple of God. Firm and unchanging in a way that is appropriate for the narrative and narrative and theme we knew was coming and final, is finally here. Now, you can count on seasons as sure as you can count on the sun coming up. Ito na, remember this and underline, underline this. When seasons get messed up, things get messed up. Alright? 
Remember, sabi ni Robert Heidler, ni Prophet Robert Heidler of um, Glory of Zion International, the ministry entrusted to Chuck Pierce. Going with the times, God's times and uh, God's season, times and seasons is like parang ano. Kapag hindi ka pala nagmo-move sa times and seasons ng Panginoon, para kang umaakyat sa escalator na pababa. Kaya wala kang napatutunguhan. Imagine nyo, paakyat ka, pero yung escalator mo pababa. Pero pag nag-align ka sa times and seasons ng Panginoon, paakyat ka sa escalator na paakyat. Amen? Okay. Now, what is the call to action? Times and seasons speak of different prophetic time frames and postures. We have to flow with God in both times and seasons. You have to know the difference. You can be in perfect timing with both your times and your seasons so that all of God's good purposes are fulfilled in your life. This is very important. Underline this. Being in sync with God's timing lines you up for a powerful Kingdom advantage. Amen? Well, it's important that we don't go ahead of God or we don't lag behind when God is prompting us to act when there is sense of urgency. Amen? There is a supernatural, God-given ability to discern your times and seasons so you can cooperate with God. It is called the... Isaacar anointing. You, we've known this in our family for quite a time, but there's something new we're going to learn about this. Ito na. Isaacar is a tribe of Israel. So therefore, Isaacar is a tribal anointing. Everybody say tribal anointing. Meaning, tribal anointings are released through the people you intentionally live with. Ibig sabihin, this anointing operates corporately. So if you want to operate in the Isaacar anointing, your covering should be clear. If you want to operate in the Isaacar anointing, your submission should be clear. The lines of authority in your life should be clear. Because we are a tribe. Amen? It doesn't mean that one group is better than the other. No. It is just for our protection that the Lord God ordained specific groups where people can grow. Amen? It doesn't mean that one is better than the other. It's just, it's just the way it is for people to grow in a family. Okay, remember this, the Isaacar anointing, everybody say, the Isaacar anointing is a tribal anointing. Okay, so hindi ito, mga kapatid, mga beloveds, ang oras ng pagkakanya-kanya. Because times and seasons are changing. Where you belong should be clear. Yes, you belong to God, but we have to ask God, Lord, where are you assigning me? Where do you want me to grow? Amen? So, in times and seasons, hindi pwede na, ay, duman nga ako sa church na ito, tahara ni Samu. Hindi, hindi pwede yung ganon. Kahit malayo yan, kung dyan ka inasay ng Panginoon, dyan ka. Amen? Hindi pwede na dito ka sa KFM nung wala pang pandemic. Pero nung may pandemic na, dahil mainit na dito, hindi ka na dito. Mahirapan tayo dyan. Because discerning the times and seasons entails you belonging to a tribe. Amen? Okay. Prophetic community is essential when it comes to the Isaacar anointing. Amen? Okay, again, I want to make this clear. This is relational, not functional. Everybody say, this is relational, not functional. Ibig sabihin, dumating man yung time na may mga restrictions, mag-ECQ ulit, o mag-GCQ, mag-MACQ, it doesn't mean that we have to face each other all the time. What's important is that we are together in the Spirit and we are all agreeing to accomplish the will and the purpose of the Lord together. Amen? Whatever it takes and however it may be carried out. Amen? So that entails, kapag naputol yung live, ay, para hindi ko ma-miss yung move ng Panginoon, mag-recap ako. Amen? 
yan yung yan yan yung clarity na binibigay ng Panginoon sa atin because he sabi ng sa, di ba sabi ng scripture John the Baptist was a voice crying out in the wilderness saying prepare the way of the Lord make straight his path so hindi pa ding paliko-liko tayo dapat straight amen for the king of glory to come to us the path must be straight amen You find that the Issachar anointing in 1 Chronicles 12.32 of the sons of Issachar who had understanding of the times to know what Israel ought to do. Nakaka-bless lang talaga tong family na to because when talking about the tribe, if there's a time na hindi makakapunta or ano, people are very open na nagsasabi So that we know how to take care of each other. Amen? Okay. Now, transition na tayo from time to the redemption part. Amen? Ngayon, this is something that really um, struck my heart. Kanina ko lang to na-realize when I was talking to beloved Isa over lunch. A revelation of redemption, the power of 28, the number, of, the number 28. The biblical number that represents times and seasons is 28. Why? Let's go to Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1. Please open your Bibles and then you count how many times are there. Ecclesiastic, Ecclesiastes 3, 1 onwards. Tingnan nyo po. For those who are watching, beloved family, please open your Bibles. Okay, count. <clears throat> Mas maganda sa Bible nyo para kita nyo yung buong spread. Okay. There is an occasion for everything and a time for every activity under heaven. Number one, a time to be born. Number two, a time to die. Number three, a time to plant. Number four, a time to pluck what is planted. Number five, a time to kill. Number six, a time to heal. Seven, a time to break down. Eight, a time to build up. Nine, a time to weep. Ten, a time to laugh. Eleven, a time to mourn. Twelve, a time to dance. Thirteen, a time to cast away stones. Fourteen, a time to gather stones. 15, a time to embrace. 16, a time to refrain from embracing. 17, a time to gain. 18, a time to lose. 19, a time to keep. 20, a time to throw away. 21, a time to tear. 22, a time to sow. Ano sunod? 23 na? Hindi, hindi. Anong number na ako? Nawala ako. 23. 24, a time to keep silent. 25, a time to speak. 26, a time to love. 27, a time to eat. Ay, mali. Mali ang bilang ko. 27, a time to war. 28, a time of peace. Okay. Tama? 28? Okay. So, when we talk about times and seasons, time in general, okay? The general understanding or appreciation of time, God's time. Um, in numerology, it is tw number 28. Jesus, ibig sabihin nun, Jesus will show up and bring redemption into your every time and every season. Why? That's why the term lamb and the word cross are found in the Bible exactly 28 times. It means the power of the cross is there for you in every time and every season. There is redemption for all your times. Amen? Aren't you glad? Praise the Lord. Prapa ka natin si Lord po. And kanina ko lang na-realize, ni-release nga pala ni Prophet Sado yung word May 28. So, ano talaga to? Brace yourself, mga beloved family. Hawak-hawak sa upuan, buckle up, because from May 28 until now, how many days has pa have passed? Seven days. Eight days have passed. So, when are we ending the 50 days? June 16. Okay, so I, 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 ano, I, I encourage everybody, please, please, be still, pay attention to that 50 days. Okay? It, it, it was really, it, kanina ko lang to na-realize nga, 
na eh, after itong 20, July 16, July 16. Na itong 28 pala, 28 nga naman ni-release yung instruction, May 28. Okay. So yes, praise God. We thank the Lord for those 50 days because those 50 days will turn our lives around. Amen? Redemption changes everything. The Redeemer and His power. Let's talk about that. This is what Jesus Christ came to bring and He Himself became redemption. Redemption is the act of buying something back or paying a price. I wait lang. It just crossed my mind, Okay. Regarding the 50 days, kasama doon sa 50 days na yon yung pag-remove ng leaven. Okay? Specifically, may mention ni Prophet Sado yung computer games na violent. For the first time, and it is, and now, I'm going to um, release this with love, okay? Okay. Bawal na ang ML sa mga nagbiminister. Okay? Once and for all, bawal na. I-delete na po yung mga app, Okay? I-delete na yung mga app. Tig-specify yan ni Prophet Sado dun sa prophetic word niya within the 50 days. Within the 50 days, parents, check the cell phones of your children. Okay? We are all accountable to the Lord for this. Okay? Let's go through this as a family. Anything in your phone where there is violence, remove that. Delete that. Okay? That is wasting the time that God... is giving us. Why? Why? Remember, time is for the redemptive purpose of God. Amen? And in redeemed time, there is blessing in life. So, hindi ka pwede mag-kill sa loob ng redeemed time. And anong ginagawa mo sa ML? Pumapatay ka. Hindi pwede yun sa redeemed time. If you wanna stay in unredeemed time, sige mag-ML ka. Pero, Kung gusto mo magstay sa redeemed time, i-delete mo na yan. Amen? I lovingly release this word to you, beloved family. Let's remove the leaven out of this house. Amen? Redemption changes everything. The Redeemer and His power. This is what Jesus Christ came to bring and who Himself, who He Himself became. Redemption. Remember, di ba, dinis ka sa atin, beloved Hana na, siya yung priest, siya yung nag-offer, siya pa yung sacrifice. Now, redemption is the act of buying something back or paying a price or ransom to return something to your possession. Redemption changes everything, not just over time, but for all time. Praise the Lord. As far as the East is from the West, so far as has He removed our transgressions from us. Psalm 103 verse 12. When God says He has removed our transgression from all distance, east to west, remember, kapag may distance, my space at my time. Praise God. He is also saying redemption overcomes all time from the beginning to the end. Amen. Aren't you glad? Praise the Lord. From our perspective, the north and south have ending points, but the east and the west do not. Kasi hindi kasi natin makita, di ba? Now, why would the Lord specifically remove our sins and throw them as far as the east is from the west? A picture of eternal separation? Because He wants them removed partially? No, completely. So we cannot pick them back up again. When Jesus removes them, He removes, from, he removes them for all time and space. Praise God. That's why the Lord said, If you ask for forgiveness, I will remember your sins no more. Amen? There is nothing created that redemption doesn't change. Redemption is what happens when Jesus steps onto any scene and has his amazing way. It's what he brings every time to everything in time. When redemption changes the time, redemption changes everything within that time. From a curse To a blessing. Amen? O, ipasok ulit ta. Hindi, hindi ako matigilan itong ML na to. ba? Diba? It's about death. Kaya lang Jesus, contrary talaga yan sa heart ng Panginoon because Jesus wants to give us life more abundantly. And that is related to death. 
And if you play ML, you are inverting, you are inviting a curse into your life. If you are, if you are touching, di ba sabi ng Lord, touch not the unclean thing? If you touch anything that's violent, you are setting your, yourself up for a curse. Let the fear of the Lord fill this place. Let the fear of the Lord fill this family. Beloved, i-delete na ang ML. Okay? Redemption also changes lost people to family, hated people to celebrate, to celebrated and wicked people to holy. Redemption changes leprous bodies to perfect human specimens. Redemption brings enslaved people into freedom and transforms dead things into living things. Through the transformational power of redemption, messed up minds become gifted learners. Amen? Yamba, students, your learning does not depend on the type of delivery of education during this pandemic. If you are not learning anything through your modules, praise God still. Why? Because Holy Spirit, the Paracletos, will be the one to teach you. Just set up yourself for sanctification, the renewing of your mind, and you will learn. Amen? Hindi ka nakatututo sa module kung ano-ano pang ginagawa mo, di ba? Now at this time, if you really want to learn, if you really want to, to excel, it's time to cultivate your relationship with the Lord. Because only He can teach you. Right. Remember, if your minds are messed up, redemption can make you into a gifted learner. Amen? And shameful and pitiful people become honored and confident. Redemption changes ownership. And when things move from the kingdom of hell to the kingdom of heaven, the king of kings gets to have his glorious dominion and his will on earth as it is in heaven. The power of redemption is an awesome resource God brings to the table for his sons and his daughters. The power to buy back those of us who are enslaved isn't bought with money, but Saan tayo binili? Pa, paano tayo binili? We were bought by the precious blood of the Lamb. Redemption is beautiful because our Redeemer is beautiful. Amen? Di ba? Sabi ko sa inyo yung mga kanta, parang nangungusap. 1 Peter 1, 18-19 Knowing that you were not redeemed with corruptible things like silver or gold from your aimless conduct received by tradition from your fathers but with the precious blood of Christ as of a lamb without blemish and without spot. The blood of Jesus is the matter that changes time and space. Amen? And, and, and matter. Dagdag nyo yung matter dyan. The blood of Jesus is the matter that changes time and space and matter. That means the blood of Jesus can change your situation. It, because it changes space. The blood of Jesus can change matter. That's why you can get healed. You're, you're, the virus can go away. Sickness can go away. Because the blood of Jesus changes everything. The blood of Jesus is the life. Because sabi, de, sabi ng Levitico 17.11, life is in the blood. His blood is the essence of His life and it was spent and poured out to pay the terrible price for our filth so we could no longer be slaves to sin. After redemption, makes its transaction, what follows? Freedom, transformation, and renewal. Redemption also declares we are worthy of the gifts, rewards, and benefits of being holy. Be the Lord says, be holy for I am holy. Amen? So there's no reason for you to entertain filth or defilement in your life. Not in your minds, not in your hearts, not in your hands, and not in your bodies. Amen? Romans, 8, Romans 3, 24 to 26. Being justified freely by His grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus, whom God set forth as a propitiation by His blood through faith to demonstrate His righteousness because in His forbearance, God passed over the sins that were previously committed to demonstrate at the present time His righteousness that He might be just and the justifier of the one who has faith in Jesus. How do we apply redemption in our timeline? By faith. Amen? We believe that God is working and He can work in our past, our present, and our future. Amen? 
Because He is not subject to time. Amen? What was, what was Christ, which means anointed one, anointed to do? Okay. This is it. Meditate on these benefits of redemption as stated in Luke 4.18. Okay. Sige po, let's read this. Reach the poor, people who had never been granted access with redemption. Heal the brokenhearted. Bring hope and love of life to people who had been broken with redemption. Set captives free by redemption. Restore sight and understanding to the blind by redemption. Set people free from what beat them up. To set at liberty them that are bruised. Bruised is when you are beat up on the inside and wounded is when you are beat up on the outside. All this by paying a price only he could pay. Amen? Sige nga, basahin natin yung Luke 4, 18. To 19. Okay. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because He has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind, set at liberty those who are oppressed, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. Nakita mo? Parang opposing forces to. So this is talking about a divine reversal. Wherever the blood of Jesus is applied, there is divine reversal. Amen? From the fallen state to the redeemed state of time, space, and matter. Kasama tayo dun sa matter because we occupy space. Diba? Praise God. Aren't you glad? Praise the Lord. Now, let's conclude. Balikan natin yung scripture, diba? How do you redeem time? By walking circumspectly in the decade of the mouth. Let's talk about circumspectly. It comes from the Greek word akribos, which means diligently, accurately, or exactly. Ibig sabihin, in talking about the times and seasons of the Lord, accuracy is key. Amen? We cannot miss the mark. And missing the mark is sin. Accurately, diligently, and exactly. Ibig sabihin, bullseye yung mga ginagawa natin. We're not like throwing arrows in the air. This means we are intentional. Lahat ng ginagawa natin, may purpose. Hindi lang dahil naisip natin. Lahat ng na sinasabi natin, may purpose. Amen? Hindi lang dahil gusto mo lang mag-joke. Amen? Now, Ephesians 5, 16-21, ituloy natin yung verse. See then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. Therefore, do not be unwise but understand what the will of the Lord is. And do not be drunk with wine in which is dissipation, but be filled with the Spirit, speaking to one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord, giving thanks always for all things to God the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, submitting to one another in the fear of God. Isa-isahin natin, Colossians 4, 5 to 6 muna. Walk in wisdom towards those who are outside, redeeming the time. Let your speech always be with grace, seasoned with salt, that you may know how you ought to answer each one. Okay? Doon muna tayo sa kaya natin gawin. Kasi yung times and seasons, si Lord na ang bahala doon. Amen? Ang kailangan lang natin mag-yield at sumunod. Amen? Kailangan natin mag-adjust. Kailangan natin mag-adapt. Kasi hindi pwedeng mag-adjust ang Panginoon para sa atin. Dahil sovereign siya. Amen? Now, kung ano yung mga, isa-isahin natin yung mga nabanggit sa Ephesians sa Colossians when it comes to redeeming the time. Number one, be filled with the Spirit. Remember this, we leak at times. Pero kailangan natin magparefill sa Panginoon. Amen? Si Holy Spirit lang kasi ang makakapagturo sa atin kung paano tayo magiging in sync sa timing ng Panginoon. Kaya kay Holy Spirit lang tayo magdedepende. Amen? Kaya sinabi dito, be filled with the Spirit. Number two, speak to one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs. Saan natin to ma-achieve? Dito, kapag magkakasama tayo, di ba? 
Kapag nagde-declare tayo sa isa't isa, kapag, nag, kapag na, na-enjoy natin yung presensya ng Panginoon sa pag-awit, amen? In effect, we are ministering to each other while we are ministering to the Lord. Amen? Kaya sinabi ng Panginoon, do not neglect meeting together. Whether face-to-face o online, walang problema, basta malinaw na pare-parehas ang sinusunod nating daan or, or, or path. Amen? Kapag hindi makap face to face, mag online. Kapag kapag may interruption, mag recap. Amen. Para sabay sabay ang lakad. Praise the Lord. Number three, sing and make melody in your heart to the Lord. Kapag ano, p- alam nyo mga kapatid, there's a music in our, there's music in our hearts that adores the Lord. Natatabunan lang siya ng mga kaingayan yon sa loob. Pero ang bilis ng puso mapaawit sa Panginoon kasi the heart was made for that. The heart was made to beat in time with the Lord. And beating in time involves music. Right? So let that, that, that music come out of your heart. Let that melody come out of your heart. Silence the voices, all the voices in your heart that are not of God and allow your heart to sing. Allow your heart to sing to the Lord. Number four, give thanks always for all things to God, the Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise God. Ito nga sabi ni, ano, ni beloved, Pastor Julie, Lord, salamat sa problema. Lord, salamat sa init. Lord, salamat sa ulan. Salamat, Panginoon, sa pandemic, dahil na-accomplish ka sa buhay ko. It's a general rule. Regardless of how you feel, give thanks to the Lord and your, your situation will change. Because His Word will not fail you. His Word is true. Amen? Submit to one another in the fear of God. Lahat tayo may kanyang-kanyang calling. Lahat tayo may kanyang-kanyang pangungusap ang Panginoon. We should live in unity. We should live in peace, at peace with each other. We should live lovingly. Amen? In the fear of God. Kapag naiinis ka na sa mga kasamahan mo, sa paligid mo, pag naiinis ka na, isipin mo, nandyan yung presensya ng Panginoon. And the fear of God is enough to silence that anger inside your heart. The fear of God is more than enough to silence that jealousy in your heart. The fear of God is, is more than enough to silence the judgment in your heart about your brethren's condition. Sapat na ang fear of God. Yung ma-acknowledge mo yung presensya ng Panginoon sa bawat isa. Lalo na kung umakasama mo sa bahay, believers na, ay nako, tiisin mo, bilabed. Tiisin mo. Tiisin mo yung flows dahil presensya ng Panginoon ang naandyan sa taong yan. Amen? Praise the Lord. Let your speech always be with grace. Seasoned with salt. The Passion Translation says, Let every word you speak be drenched with grace and tempered with truth and clarity. From now on, unkind words are no longer allowed in the house of prayer. Okay? Hindi na allowed ang unkind words sa isa't isa kahit joke. Because we need to honor each other because we are redeemed And as redeemed people, we have been converted from sinners to saints. Amen? Let your speech at all times be gracious and pleasant, seasoned with salt, so that you will know how to answer each one. Amen? Are you blessed? Let's conclude. Beloved, we only have one lifetime to mature and be transformed and conformed to the image of Christ. We only have one lifetime to prepare our wedding garments. That's the time na binigay ng Panginoon sa atin. Aren't you glad that you have the time to choose God? Babalikan ko yung introduction ko kanina. Salamat sa Panginoon at binigyan niya tayo ng opportunity na piliin siya. Kasi kung ngayon, ang gusto mo, pumunta ka na sa heaven sa eternity, sabi nga ni Prophet Sadu, kapatid, hindi ka qualified doon kung nangangamoy ang flesh mo. Hindi ka makakapunta doon. Magpasalamat ka sa Panginoon na hindi ka, niya, hindi ka pa niya kinukuha. Kasi may time ka pa para maging mabango. 
Kasi hindi tanggap doon sa langit ang hindi mahal ang Panginoon. Hindi tanggap doon ang prideful. Hindi tanggap, hindi tanggap doon ang puro flesh, puro self. Pagpasalamat tayo sa Panginoon na may oras tayo. And hindi, hindi natin dapat Diyos ang time natin. Ang time dapat subject to God. Accomplishing the purposes of God in our life. Hindi natin dapat Lord ang time natin na kapag pag may ano, takot na tayo. Pag may deadline and ano. Kapag, kapag may deadline, manalangin ka. The Lord can stop time. Amen. O, oh, ito na. Nag, may ano ako. May testimony na ako last week. Final exam namin sa quantitative research sa Bicol, sa BU. 6.30 ng Sabado yung exam ko. Worship leader ako last week. Natatempt na talaga ako na, di ba maaga tayo natapos mag-practice last week? May two hours ako, 12 to 2. Natatempt na talaga ako magbasa. Natempt na ako mag-aral. But the Holy Spirit, I praise God. Thank you, Holy Spirit talaga. Nagrabe yung divine restraint. Talagang, hindi ka pwede gumawa niya. No? Di, hindi po, hindi po. Di yun na. Alam nyo, nagbago lang naman yung exam. Hindi na siya synchronous. Asynchronous na, written. Tapos pwede mag-open notes. Imagine nyo, kung nag-aral ako nung time na yun, kung, kung, eh di nabawasan yung sabat ko, nabawasan yung time of rest ko, eh di, mainit niya yung ulo ko buong manghapon. Pero kung, di ba, magtiwala lang tayo sa Panginoon because He can time, He can stop time, He can change time, He can reorder time for the sake of His relationship with you. Remember, God is after relationship, not functionality. The Lord wants ministry to be relational rather than functional. So kung may mga oras na caught up ka na sa schedules natin dito sa Sa, sa ministering team, may mga times na caught up na tayo sa schedule ng pag-serve lang sa Panginoon. Tandaan nyo po, ayaw ng Panginoon ng functional. Gusto niya, relational muna bago functional. Amen? He's not looking for slaves. He's working with sons and daughters. Amen? Revelation 19.7 Let us rejoice and shout for joy. Let us give Him glory and honor for the marriage of the Lamb has come at last and His bride, the redeemed, has prepared herself. Because God redeemed you, it's time for you to prepare yourself. Amen? It's time for you to prepare for the wedding. You should not waste time. Sabihan niyo yung katabi niyo, lahat ng mga nanonood sa live, yung mga kasama niyo sa bahay, beloved, don't waste time. Don't waste time. Ano yung sinabi? How do we waste time? How do you abuse time? When you focus on serving man and serving yourself. How do you serve yourself? Kapag ang naka-priority pa sa lista mo, yung gusto mo tsaka yung ayaw mo, Tanungin mo naman si Lord, Lord, ano ba yung gusto mo? Di ba? Ano ba yung gusto mo? Ito na. Kasi, if you are using your time for purposes other than growing your relationship with Him, then you are abusing your time. Even if that is ministry. Kapag, Kapag ano ka na, kapag functional ka na lang, kapag bugbug ka na sa ministry, pero wala ka ng relationship sa Panginoon at sa mga brethren, hindi na yan. Waste of time na yan. Violation yan ng purpose ng time. Amen? And I wanna close with this. With another prophetic warning from Reverend Sadu. In this time and season of sanctification, either you volunteer to change or you will be forced to change. Kasi the Lord will, hindi, hindi, hindi ka hahayaan ng Panginoon na hindi ka magbago. Kasi yung time na nandito ka sa earth, ang purpose nun, para magbago ka. Para magbago ako, para matransform tayo. Para ma-change tayo from glory to glory. Amen? So yun po, praise God. God is good. Are you blessed? Amen. For all of you who are watching online, I decree and declare that you're going to receive double in Jesus' name. Amen? And it's going to flood your house. It's going to flood your home. So, praise the Lord. I want to ask Pastor Eman, you, you will officiate communion, ano? But before communion, let's respond to the Lord. Not every way. Prayer, a song, whatever.
in this lifetime, Lord, you are unchangeable, unshakable, unstoppable. And that's who you are, Lord. That's who you are. Oh, in good times and bad times, you are God. You are God. Come on, sing a, sing a melody unto the Lord. Wasted time, you know. Salamat, Lord, na ikaw yung aming past, present, and future. At sa'yo laging may kasiguraduhan, Panginoon. sa Panginoon, we can take the bread and wine. para po dun sa mga nanonood in their homes prepare din po kayo ng bread and wine sabay-sabay po tayo mag-take nito you're unchangeable unshakeable our eyes on you. Yeshua HaMashiach. The Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Thank you for the cross. Thank you for your blood. And we thank you for your body, Panginoon, that has been broken 
for us to be healed, for us to be made whole, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. For I have received from the Lord what I also pass on to you, that the Lord Jesus on the same night in which he was betrayed took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take it. This is my body which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Let's eat of the bread. the same manner he also took the cup saying this cup is the new covenant in my blood this do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me let's drink of the cup for, his, for as often as we eat this cup and we eat this bread and drink this cup we proclaim the Lord's death until he comes amen Thing. 
God. Hello. Let's sing for the names of God.
us pray. Father in heaven, we thank you so much for giving us this time, this very precious time, Lord God. We thank you, Holy Spirit, for staying with us, for staying in our midst today. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for guiding us on the path, on the right direction toward you, Lord. We thank you for your scripture. We thank you for your word. We thank you for all the corrections that you've given to each one of us, Father. We are so blessed, Lord, that this afternoon we felt once again your, your, holy, your holy presence, Lord God. Thank you, Father, for your love. Thank you for your comfort. Lord, may ask for your guidance, for your wisdom and understanding and the situation that we are facing right now, Lord. Especially our brethren, Lord, na hindi makakakapunta dito, Panginoon. Na maintindihan namin at maunawaan namin, Panginoon, ang lahat ng purpose mo sa mga nangyayaring ito, Panginoon. Thank you so much, Lord, for the brethren, Lord, na ginamit niyo po para may parating sa amin ang salita mo para po maintindihan namin, Panginoon, at maunawaan namin, Panginoon, ang mga bagay na pinagdadaanan namin sa buhay na ito. Thank you so much, Father God. Thank you so much, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We'll bring back all the glory, all the praises, and all the honor. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Let us declare some uh, prophetic declaration. The Lord bless and keep me. The Lord make His face shine upon me and be gracious to me. The Lord lift up His countenance upon me and give me peace. I will glorify the name of the Lord in my life, before my family, before my friends, before everyone else, whether they be believers or unbelievers. And to God be all the glory. Amen. Shabbat Shalom.